In this tutorial, we're gonna go through how to use Labs Disposable Camera App or Journal by Labs app. And uh, yeah, I was just playing with this app for a while. Actually, I signed up for this app like a year ago. I think this app overall has had like, you know, quite few rebrands, redesigns. It was called Labs, then Journal by Labs, then again Labs. But now finally seems uh, the developers really found something and it's in the top charts. Right now it's going, um, you know, through the top char charts also on TikTok. So what that is basically, this app is like a disposable camera. You heard about apps like, you know, maybe Dispo app or something like that. So, you know, if you're, for example, on a party, you can see this, you know, some one-time disposable plastic cameras, which are trending again, this kind of Polaroids. So this is the idea of this app. This is basically like Polaroid camera in your, on your iPhone, but also it's a social media. Uh, and this app is really cool as adding in adding this really amazing Instagram like filters uh, and you don't need to do a lot of effort and you can really take some amazing photos. Um, so yeah, let's just dive into it. The one downside, like if you didn't create your account to create an account, you will need to invite at least five people, which is super annoying for some users. You know, they don't want to waste time like that. I don't know why this app introduced this kind of barrier for new users, but that's what it is. But anyhow, if you signed up, this is how it looks like. You can just, uh, you have this cool overview and then you can just take a photo. You can change the zoom here. Uh, you can have this wide zoom. And then that's basically the idea. Then after you took photo in the bottom left, uh, it doesn't instant these photos don't um, instantly develop similar as you have in old cameras so it will take around a day uh, for these snaps to develop uh, and then if they're developed they will become this kind of dark orange color and then you can just hold to view previous snaps so for example this is my previous snap this is just like photo of the room whatever and then you can just if you don't like it, you can just swipe left to archive it. Otherwise you can just share. And by sharing, you will kind of share it to your own feed. Overall, I need to say this app still is a bit kind of complicated. As I understand, there are some design things which can be done better, I guess. And this is still kind of feels like a beta and there are a few bugs here and there. So, so that's just what it is. But of course, it will become better and better in the future with every update. But anyhow, like so, here you have you can also add a note. Uh, so whatever you can just add a note. Um, you can tag some other users. You can tag people. Uh, you can tag a friend. Uh, so that's that. And then if you want, you can just tap share and then you will just share it. So that's the idea. Then also in the top right, you can also undo. I don't know, like you don't need any premium subscription to undo. So you can just easily undo it. Also in the bottom, you can just tap to delete it and then you can just kind of delete it. If you don't wanna, uh, you know, your snap to appear anywhere, that's where you can delete it. Also you can archive, as I said, by swipe and left. I don't know what exactly is the difference between archive and deleting. But then here, when you tap the new photo, like this new photo is, uh, is still being developed. So it's not instant. And then, yeah, you can select these photos, like you can do all of the things, uh, add, add it, save. But yeah, uh, and then here you have like albums, you have tagged, uh, that's this part. Then you have uh, your feed. That's basically in the bottom right, you just have feed all your photos. And then also you can just post some updates, like some new music you're listening or no, I guess like when you add any music to, to your profile. And then another cool feature, that's actually the coolest feature of the app is just, you have this like featured photos and then you can see really amazing photos from users, something like that. It's really interesting.
And then, yeah, you can see some really amazing shots. I, that's the cool part about this app. It especially looks cool on, on this newer iPhone 14 Pro, 15, iPhone 15. It's really amazing, like these filters. If you wanna, you can try to get featured yourself. So you can just try to submit. Uh, yeah, if you want to appear here, if you took some really cool shot, you can just submit it to be featured. Um, so then in the top right, you have your inbox you can see uh, activity, you can see who reacted to your snap, you can see if someone suggested you to be a friend, you can also add friends here. So how to add friends? You can just search users and contacts. Um, you can search friends. You can search friends by username, I guess. Um, so anyhow, uh, in the top left, you can just uh, do it. And then uh, you have, you can share uh, your friends like on Snapchat, WhatsApp, you can just copy to clipboard. And then that's basically the idea. Uh, and in the bottom left, you have your profile. That's just your profile where you can edit details. You can edit your display name. Uh, you can only update your display name once a week, choose a name friends uh, will recognize. So that's that, uh, there is 24 characters limitation and then there is your username. From here, you can change your username. A lot of viewers asked me in the channel how to change username in labs. So yeah, here you have it, you can change it from here. Um, and then there are emojis, uh, you can add emojis to your profile. Another question my, my viewers ask is like, how do you change emojis in labs? So basically, there is a bug here, as I understand. If you tap on these emojis, there is some effect, but nothing is happening. So to change emojis, like, you just need to delete them in the, you know, bottom right. And then you can just add them like this. And that's the idea. Then you can also add your bio. There is 100 characters limitation. So that's that you can also add your school college you can also add your star sign um, so that's the idea then you can add selects is basically you can just add some specific photos you, you can just add your favorite snaps from here uh, then you can also add some music uh, and then music selects photo, you can also share your profile. So a lot of features like in this app, I st still find some really interesting features. Then uh, you can also change uh, email address. Oh wait, so you still uh, can't do it. Yes, you can see Labs is still in early access. So there are, that's why there are a lot of like kind of bugs. You can also reach out to their support from here. Um, and then as well as you can see that like, we are sorry, but we are aware there are some issues looking in creating accounts at the moment. So in the bottom, you can also tap to delete an account. Uh, so that's the idea. Um, vibes. Send today's vibe to see who sent you vibe. Uh, so you can uh, just tap to send vibe uh, and then just send the vibe to some other person. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the, the taken from Be Real, I guess. This app is, is kind of like, you know, the mix of Instagram, Snapchat, Be Real, everything in, in one app to, to attract teenagers, I guess, but it is getting something for sure. Uh, and then like, so then you kind of have your own journal. That's why it's kind of called Journal by Labs. Or yeah, if you just scroll, so this is your profile. And then that's, I just have difficulty, like how do I quickly access? So this is my, this is kind of like your friends and your self feed. By the way, also, if you want to remove this snap from the journal, you can just tap on three dots and then you will remove your snap from journal. You can also, if you want to remove your snaps, you can just go to specific snap, you can uh, uh, make private this album 
or you can just go to yeah basically i guess uh that's also makes me a bit it's a bit complicated um so from, i guess from here or you just go go to your memories and then you can just kind of select them and then you can you can delete them from here just uh, yeah so it's possible it's a bit complicated just in case you yeah you don't want them to appear anywhere you can delete those yeah like you can here enable flashlight you can zoom in if you just scroll to the top you can search for some person and then yeah you can just invite people like they like you know send friend request for example um so yeah that's basically the idea um yeah so that's what it is i don't know like there are a bunch of features in this app uh which uh you know which are a bit hidden uh similar as on be real and there are a lot of features in development um you can also sometimes send instance i don't know like sometimes if you just take a photo uh like here it says send instant uh, immediately after i took a photo you can send an instant and this is how it will kind of look like and then it's slowly it's being slowly developed uh so yeah pretty cool you can also add a note so pretty interesting design then you can also see uh, that it's developed instantly deletes after sending only viewable once so that's another feature that's kind of a be real so you can do that um, um so yeah that's what it is i'm not sure actually if labs app is available on android uh but yeah that's the idea i uh, hope i covered some of like these main features um if you have anything else to add feel free to leave some additional comments in under this video and subscribe to my channel put some likes and see you in the next videos